Hello, welcome to the final instalment of the Test Modeler Quick Start Web Automation Tutorial Series. In this instalment, we're going to look at how we can generate and execute some test cases from our model. Now, the first step we're going to do here is inside of our coverage setting, we can come through and set a naming convention. So in this instance, we're going to uh, hard code a, a login, um, and then we're going to include the path number, which is the index of our path. Additionally, inside these settings, we can come in and set different coverage levels. In this example, we're just going to keep it simple and keep it as a medium coverage setting. I'm going to hit save, and then in the top left, I'm going to hit generate. This goes away and generates us some test cases, and you'll see that we've created two parts here. One of a negative scenario and one for a positive scenario. Now, at this point, we can come through, hit run, and click on our automation code button, and that's going to go away and create our automation, and then it's also going to execute that web automation against that website. That execution has completed. So if we close this, you'll see that we've got some results attached to our paths. Now we can see that one has passed, and you'll see that we've got all of the relevant screenshots associated with that test case, um, as well as our failure in here, where we can see exactly what has gone wrong and why it's gone wrong. Thank you for watching this quick start web automation series.